Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you how we can take 2D images and bring them into AR through lenses using Lens Studio. Let's build this lens. First, let's take a look at some of the elements on this lens to see what we need to do in Lens Studio. We have images attached to the face, such as the glasses and the hearts by the forehead. We have an image that is applied to the face, like a mask. And finally, we have an image applied to the screen to add some red vignetting around the edges. Let's construct our lens. Open Lens Studio and create a new project. First, let's bring our images into Lens Studio since we'll need them as a resource for our lens. We can do this by dragging our files into the Resources panel in Lens Studio. There are two ways you can bring animated images in. You can import the frames of the animation by pressing Add New 2D Animation from File in the Resources panel, or simply drag an animated GIF into it. Now that we have our resources, let's attach them to the face. We can start by adding the glasses. The Objects panel in Lens Studio represents all the things in your experience. Let's add our image to the user's face. We can type in face to get a list of all the things that we can add related to the user's face. In this case, since we want to add an image, we will choose Face Image. You can see that in our Objects panel, there is now an image under Head Binding, since Lens Studio automatically takes care of how an image is attached to the face. Let's change the preview image to better see this effect in action. You'll also notice that when an object is selected, the Inspector panel shows the properties that can be modified on that object. Let's modify the image that is displayed. We can do this by dragging our glasses texture that we imported earlier into the texture field. You can now position the glasses in the scene panel, resizing and moving them around to where you want your glasses to be. Cool! Let's do the same for our hearts on the head. For the hearts on our glasses, we can actually group our hearts under our glasses object since they are supposed to be attached to each other. Let's duplicate our glasses image and then make it a child by dragging the copy under the glasses. We can set the texture and position it as we did before. Since the heart on the glasses are symmetrical, we can duplicate the image again, place it on the other side, and turn on the flip image option. Great! Now let's add our hearts on our cheek. As we said before, we want to apply it like a mask on the face. So we can go back to our objects panel, and this time, we'll choose the face mask option. As before, we'll set the texture option and choose our image. To position our hearts, we can select the points of the face and drag or resize them. Next, let's add the image we want attached to the screen. We'll press the Add New again, but this time, since it's attached to the screen, we'll search for Screen, then choose the Screen Image option. Like before, we will replace the texture field. Let's set the Stretch Mode to Fill, since we want our image to always fill the screen. Finally, let's add some final touches. We can add the Face Retouch object to our lens to add some skin softening, as well as add color correction. Next, we'll give our lens a name by going to the Project Info menu, as well as a lens icon and lens preview so people can see our lens. All we need to do now is publish the lens for all Snapchatters to find. We can do this by pressing the Publish button, giving the right information, and pressing Submit. When the lens is done processing, you'll get a snap code and link you can share with your friends. And that's it! Now the world can find your custom AR experience! There's a lot more we can explore in Lens Studio to bring your art to life in AR. Check out the different templates we have to learn more about what you can do.